Young members of the IET can win lots of awards. We've got Present Around the World, where you give us a short 10 minute paper and you win up to £1,000 if you become the worldwide finalist. And the great thing is, you're up against people from Australia, Canada, the Czech Republic, all over the world, so you get to meet great people at the same time. If you don't like talking and you prefer writing, then you can enter right around the world. It's got an even better prize, because you actually win a round-the-world airline ticket, where you stop off in three places, you get to choose them. There's one little catch, there's got to be an IT section there, and you present your paper in those three locations around the world and get to discover the world at the same time. Those are two of the around the world ones. We've also got, if you know someone that's done something brilliant, maybe they've done an excellent sandwich year project and saved the company that employed them thousands of pounds, then you can nominate them for the Sir Henry Royce Achievement Award. And yes, that's the Royce as in Rolls Royce. So those are three of the many awards that we've got with the IET for younger members. And of course, if you're starting as a student, there's many, many scholarships and awards that can help you through your course. After I won the first place in Oxfordshire, and uh, I received the email and they asked me if I am interested in going to the, the, the final competition. And uh, I think, well, it's an, it's, it's an honour for me to, to go to the final competition, to meet different candidates over the lower world. Tonight I was the runner-up in the Present Around the World competition. This is a worldwide competition which started for me all the way back in Wellington, New Zealand. Um, I entered in a competition which was a regional final and well, I won that and then I won the national finals in New Zealand and that gave me entrance into the UK international finals. And that's why I'm here today. And I came runner-up to an Aussie, which is always a good thing to have. I first found out about the um, IET Present Around the World competition at university in my fourth year. Oh, having a wicked time. Even though I didn't win the competition, it's still a free trip to Glasgow and I still got £500 for a runner-up, which is great. When I was in the second year at the University of Leeds, my professors did say it's always used to be useful to become members of professional institutions like IET, IEEE, etc. And that's how I went onto their website and I saw what all is needed to become a member. And well, the eligibility criteria was very, very simple. Looking through their IET website, there the section which says scholarships and awards. I'm looking through that and seeing if there were any awards applicable for a year industry student. I won this medal, as you can see, it's a gold medal with my name on it, which is really nice. Yeah. And then I won a, won a certificate saying that I've got the Sir Henry Royce Award. Apart from that, that, the best part is the £250. <laughs> I've been applying for graduate application now since I'm on my final year. And uh, I don't know if it is just that part on the CV which kind of stands out. I've already got companies saying, you know, you've gone through the first round, which is the application round, onto the interview round. So I must say some credit, or most of the credit goes to this award, really, <laughs> because it's got, it's got the international sound to it. I'm sure I'll be attending more and more. I got involved with the IIT because uh, we heard about this competition that uh, the, uni the university was, was running. And to compete in the competition, you had to be a member of the IIT. And that gave you the opportunity to then compete for, for a state title. And it just sounded like a great idea. And so we, we joined the IET and, and gave it a go. Tonight, my thesis partner, Simon, and I won the International Presenter Around the World competition. We won £1,000 for the international final of the thesis competition where you present your, your final year thesis project. So all together it was a year long process but it was a lot of fun. <laughs>